Pittsburgh Steelers inside linebacker and former Baltimore Raven Patrick Queen goes off on social media at Ravens fans for still talking bad about him for switching teams more than months later. So, as we all know, Patrick Queen, he was with the Baltimore Ravens for his whole career, got drafted there. But then, in free agency this offseason, he signed the biggest free agent contract in Pittsburgh Steelers history. Three years, $41 million. So, he moved on. But it's always going to be a topic of discussion, especially with the rivalry that goes on with the Pittsburgh Steelers and Baltimore Ravens. And also, just switching teams within the AFC North division. So, you know the fans are getting on Patrick Queen. And just recently on social media, Patrick Queen clapped back at the Ravens fans. But first, before I get into what he said, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for everything Pittsburgh Steelers news and updates, and also like the video. Let's get right back into it. So, it basically all started because Ravens fans are basically saying, good luck, but you are dead to us. You moved on. How can you move on to the Pittsburgh Steelers? How can you switch teams within the AFC division and betray us? Basically just saying posts like that. And Patrick Queen, he saw Saquon Barkley. He's going through the exact same thing. Saquon Barkley, obviously he was with the New York Giants for his whole career. But then he moved on within the division to the Philadelphia Eagles. So the Giants fans are basically saying the same thing to him about switching teams to the Eagles. And Saquon Barkley, he addressed this by saying, it's been two months. No way you can still be this mad. Can't even go to a basketball game. And then Patrick Queen responded on social media by saying, for real, rent free. Basically saying that they're still living in the minds of the Ravens and the Giants fans. And they just can't get over how they switch teams, even though it's been months. And then, obviously, a Ravens fan responded to this, saying, fans do the most. I agree. But are you surprised this is the outcome of your decision? And then Patrick Queen responded by saying, not surprised, but it's been months. I'm still the topic of discussion. But he wasn't done there. He put up a separate post, just him saying this. You guys are funny. If you think I'm pressed, y'all was on my, cause you know what I can do against ya. I love arguing, so you never get under my skin. And at the end of the day, you'll avatars be famous people because you'll never amount to anything in life. If you want to chat, hop on my stream. It's going up in a few. Also, after this, after this post, he continued on on social media, kind of replying to the fans and what they had to say, but nothing really too serious. So Patrick Queen, he goes off on the Ravens fans, basically saying, hey, you guys are using fake avatars, fake pictures of other people football players, basketball players, just famous people in general as your pitcher and you're talking about what I'm doing with my life and you're just having this fake persona on social media talking bad about me for no reason and you could understand it because Patrick Queen, it's not like he just joined the Pittsburgh Steelers to join the Pittsburgh Steelers. He joined it as a business decision. Pittsburgh was probably offering him the most money and with his first contract in the NFL, other than obviously his rookie deal in which he had to pay play under because that's just the standard rookie deal. His first actual free agency in which he's actually able to get paid with a first contract. He probably got paid the highest or at least offered the highest by the Pittsburgh Steelers. So it's not like he's just choosing the Pittsburgh Steelers and choosing to betray the Ravens for no reason. That's the most money offered. So he went that direction. And at the end of the day, they have to realize it's just a business decision. So Patrick Queen with, with the highest offer went to the Pittsburgh Steelers. And also he's going to a winning football team as well. If a team offered him more money, just say to go to the Panthers, he's going to the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Pittsburgh Steelers beat the Ravens. What, they're seven and one or something like that in the last eight games, I believe it is. So it's not like the Pittsburgh Steelers are just this bad team in which have no success against the Ravens. They have more success against the Ravens than the Ravens have had. They basically both did the exact same thing the past few years. Yes, you could say the Ravens made the playoffs, won a couple playoff games and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, they both haven't won a Super Bowl in how long. Obviously, the Ravens have won it sooner. 
but Patrick Queen wasn't on that team, so Patrick Queen and the Steelers have had basically the exact same amount of success. So it's not like he's going to a team that just is a poor football team and then he just left the Ravens, in which is a great team. No, both teams have basically had the exact same amount of success, other than a few playoff wins here and there. But also, Patrick Queen, he wouldn't be the topic of discussion if the Ravens fans knew that they were losing not a good player. They know they're losing a really good inside linebacker. So that's why he's still the topic of discussion. If he was just a regular player that moved on. For example, Jalen Elliott. Jalen Elliott, even though he was with the Miami Dolphins recently, he's still a former Raven. So why aren't Ravens fan, fans getting on Jalen Elliott for switching within the division? Jalen Elliott even said that he always wanted to be a Pittsburgh Steeler. And he was a former Baltimore Raven. So why aren't Ravens fans getting on him? It's because Patrick Queen is actually a really good player and one of their best players on that defense. So it hurts even more when a top tier player, they lost them to the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's why it hurts. I haven't seen Ravens fans say, hey, it's not the fact that you just left and went to a team. It's the fact that you chose the Steelers. You could have went to any other team, any 30 other teams, and we wouldn't have cared, but you went to the Steelers. They didn't even mention the Ra they didn't mention the Bengals. They didn't mention the Cleveland Browns. It was just, hey, you could go to 30 other teams, but you chose the Steelers. So obviously the Steelers. That's just the rivalry that goes on. And that's just going to be something that he has to deal with because Ravens fans and Pittsburgh Steelers fans, it's always a budding head rivalry. And they don't want to see each other's team have success. But either way, Patrick Queen, he got his contract. He got what he thought he was worth, three years, $41 million, And the Steelers obviously like his value because like I said at the beginning of this video, that's the biggest free agent contract they gave to an outside free agent signing with their team in franchise history. And they wouldn't have gave it out if they didn't believe that he would be able to help this team. Omar Khan, Mike Tomlin, they like what he could bring and they like the standard that he could bring to this team in terms of being a run-stopping inside linebacker, but also someone who could be a coverage linebacker as well, covering tight ends and running backs just covering the whole field with this speed. Hopefully, hopefully, since Ryan Shazier went down with the injury, there's been no inside linebacker to really take his place, but hopefully this is the guy to do it for years to come, especially for the next three years in which he's under contract for. Also, one last thing before I end this video, I just want to say it's not like the Pittsburgh Steelers haven't lost players to opposing teams within the division and it hasn't really been a big deal. For example, James Harrison, back in the day when he was with the Steelers and then he left, he left to the rival. He went to the Cincinnati Bengals for what, a few years or a year or two. And then he went to the Patriots as well, another rival. It's not like Steelers fans still don't have love for James Harrison. And even Arthur Motes, for example, if we don't want to talk about big name in James Harrison, just talk about Arthur Motes. Arthur Motes got cut from the Steelers, what, two seasons ago? whatever it was, and then the year, the same year he got cut, he went to the Baltimore Ravens in free agency. So, and with the Steelers fans really didn't get, get on him for switching teams and going within the division. So, the Steelers fans take it easier than the Ravens fans take it is for what I'm getting from the situation. But either way, Patrick Queen, he's just gonna have to deal with it. He's now Pittsburgh Steelers. Who cares what the Baltimore Ravens fans have to say? But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below about the situation, this topic of Patrick Queen calling out these people on social media, hiding under fake profiles, just being mad about him and his de decision. Do you like the fact that he called them out? Should he have just kept quiet and just went about his business? Let me know your thoughts on the comments below about Raymond Sands being pissed off at the decision that he made. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for everything Pittsburgh Steelers news and updates. I covered all this off season and I'll continue to cover all as we move into the regular season and the preseason and everything like that. But subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, like, comment, and I'll see you guys all later. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.